Hey everyone, welcome back to Addie P's Real Estate Tea, where today we want to get into November 2023 market report numbers, and I also want to give you a little bit of what I feel 2024 may look like in real estate. Now before I get into this video, as I always ask and you also graciously oblige if you can please hit that thumbs up button also consider subscribing to the channel and if you subscribe please hit the bell notification to be notified of future videos on the channel I do my best to post every week here <laughs> all right and you already know if you watch your girl over on Instagram and follow her over there please don't forget to drop me a heart and show me some love <laughs> Right. Now, uh, November was not this glimmer of, uh, of a market that we uh, expected. And in fact, you know, um, nationwide, we've actually had a bit of a, a slump. Uh, for some time now, um, and that's a slump in existing sales. In fact, NAR reported that in November, uh, there was a 4.1% uh, month over month decline in existing home sales and 14.6% uh, decline year over year um, for November. So um, that's a lot to do with the fact that we have had a uh, really high interest rates, um, at least high uh, compared to what we had uh, these previous uh, three years here uh, where folks were enjoying, you know, 2%, 3%, 4% interest rates. So um, what you're looking at now may appear to be high, but trust and believe uh, historically it is not as high as it could be. All right. Um, so that has really contributed to that. And also just home sales. Home sale prices have uh, really accelerated. They are showing no signs of going down down, um, which is part of what we'll discuss uh, a little bit later in the video. All right, so we have that factor going on uh, nationally. So uh, exorbitant housing prices and uh, high interest rates and low inventory. And folks are still not selling their homes. Um, a lot of folks have decided, hey, we're just going to stay um, if they decided to age out in, in their home. They're making uh, uh, changes to their home to accommodate them if they're getting older, um, <clears throat> maybe adding stairs. I know of some old uh, friends of ours, some old neighbors of ours uh, a few years ago, prior to the pandemic, uh, I saw this weird structure on their porch and I was thinking oh I wonder what that is maybe they're getting like this nice tall uh, shower because uh, the home that they had was uh, that they have excuse me is a old historic home uh, in in a downtown area and here that's actually it was not it was an elevator uh, they are getting an elevator installed uh, they had previously discussed uh, amongst themselves of course uh, that they were thinking about maybe moving however they enjoyed the area they had put in so many upgrades in the home and they just wanted to stay um, also uh, let's be real here uh, on the buying end of things as we just discussed we have high higher interest rates now um, and higher housing costs so uh, you know that may not be enticing for some sellers um, to branch out into and, and purchase a home at a higher interest rate and so forth they may not want to give that up um, but there are a lot of sellers that are like hmm that equity now that I like. <laughs> so um, there's always something. You know, um, it's it's based on your individual needs and wants. Um, but to my point, some folks are deciding to stay. Some people can have no choice but to. And also some sellers are like, look, I, I really like that interest rate that I got. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> don't fault them for it. All right. Now, uh, here in the Lehigh Valley, our November stats, inventory was down in the double digits. Inventory was down by 27.5% in comparison to November of 2022. Uh, still having an inventory issue, um, which will continue 
continue to drive our prices up. There for a while, uh, price growth, although it was, it's going up, it's still going up. It was not going up horribly. Uh, but I, I'll say that um, the news that we just received within the past week from the Fed, I have a strong gut feeling that those buyers who said, oh, we're gonna wait for interest rates to go down. Okay, they may go down uh, slightly. However, um, the mistake that you're making is uh, the house prices are going to continue to ascend uh, and go higher and higher. Um, so what are you going to do? How are you going to balance that out? Um, uh, that's something that you'll definitely want to strategize with your real estate professional about and how you're going to approach that. Um, do I feel that that will be um, a way for buyers to enter, re-enter the market? Absolutely. Uh, welcome back, buyers. <laughs> if that is happening, um, I, I do feel that um, it will help some. But like I said, with the housing prices and low inventory, it's only going to make those housing prices go up. So please don't uh, have this thought process in your mind. I'm, I'm hoping you don't, that um, interest rates are going to get so low and you're going to strike out and get this awesome uh, deal uh, because you have uh, elevated housing prices to contend with. And those, I feel in my heart of hearts, are not going anywhere. Um, so if you're on the selling end of it and you're listing your home, um, I, I think that this is, again, your season. All right. Um, so days on market went up a little bit to 20 days on market. Um, I always say anything 30 and over is healthy, a balanced market, um, but 20 days on the market, spectacular. All right, median sales price, like I said, it went up by 5.4% um, to $316,075. Um, this time last year, uh, in November of last year, it was $300,000. So housing prices are not going down, folks. So don't anticipate that unless we have some kind of unforeseen crash, um, which most economists and, um, and, uh, and real estate folks are saying no, uh, real estate professionals, those who us real estate professionals follow are saying no, that we are not having a, uh, a crash. And I really don't see that coming. In fact, with this recent news, I'm seeing, um, you know, a, a bit of a rebound. Now, uh, Lehigh Valley, month supply, surprise, surprise, down by 7.7% um, to 1.2 months of inventory. Uh, so definitely um, creating a competitive buying market or continuing to have a competitive buying market. Um, we need in a healthy, balanced market, real estate market, at least three and a half to four uh, months worth of inventory. 1.2 months of inventory is nowhere near enough to satisfy buyer demand at this point. Um, so we are still in a seller's market, all right? Um, so what I see for 2024, let me get my imaginary crystal ball out here. And again, um, it, it's, it's subjective. It's to whatever your situation is. Um, you know, some folks say, oh, we're going to see foreclosures. We're going to see this or that. Of course, there's going to be foreclosures. Um, are we going to see any elevation in that? I don't think we will. Um, just from what I'm looking at, you know, there's always going to be um, a seller uh, who has fallen on some unfortunate times um, and the house just can't fetch what it needs to or that mortgage just can't get paid and they're going to be um, you know, heading for foreclosure. That is an unfortunate fact. We will see those things. And um, don't forget, we still have a little bit of lingering um, folks from the pandemic that um, unfortunately weren't maybe able to take advantage of that uh, forbearance period that uh, their lender may have offered. Um, or maybe their lender didn't offer a forbearance period and they just can't hang, you know, and that's, and that's 
uh, an unfortunate reality. Um, but I don't see any kind of flooding of foreclosures or anything of that nature. Um, I think we're going to get dribs and drabs like we have now. All right. Um, as far as uh, the real estate market as a whole in 2024, um, let's be real. We are going into an election year. All right. Um, and I think historically, election years have been decent as far as real estate goes. Um, real estate has never, uh, from what I've seen and, and read up on, been uh, horrendous uh, and in disarray. Now, we're talking 2023, so we're <laughs> kind of in this opposite a paradox here. Uh, so that could... Uh, you know, be different. But from what my eyes and uh, my expertise can see, I think that we are okay um, in 2024. Now, the big news of it, and I've referenced this a couple times now in the video thus far, is that uh, interest rates, uh, the, the Fed came out last week and said that we are uh, they're anticipating doing three cuts over the course of 2024 um, so that will be golden for some buyers putting them in a position where they will be able to afford a home um, and uh, you know contend with these elevated housing prices um, housing prices like I said are uh, not going to magically dip down in 2024 um, again unless something happens in opposites land and uh, you know this weird twilight zone uh, of a world that we live in I highly doubt that will happen in fact I am uh, predicting that we will more than likely especially in the first quarter um, and if we get one of those uh, rate cuts that are coming uh, their bu the buyer's way, um, I'm predicting that we'll probably see close to, if not double digit uh, price growth. So uh, buckle up. And for our, my sellers out there, you go. <laughs> All right. um, as far as um, inventory, we may see a little uptick but again, I don't feel, um, at least here locally, that we will in 2024 see this onslaught of inventory. I think for a, a while, we are really going to be in an inventory lull um, uh, a while longer here. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh, yeah, we're going to have more homes on the market. No, um, I don't. I, I think that the market inventory is going to be very restricted um, and uh, as it has been for the past how many years now um, so uh, I mean here in the Lehigh Valley I just said we had 1.2 months worth of inventory and I would imagine that number is probably going to be low um, nationally as well too in 2024 um, so expect higher housing prices as a result of having low inventory all right and um, as far as the rate cuts go uh, that if on the buying end is definitely going to create a competitive buying experience again so welcome back to the uh, pandemonium of hey um, the house just uh, got on the market at nine o'clock in the morning and we're calling for highest and best by 5 p.m. this evening um, lines out the door for open house uh, this is a type of market that I feel uh, these rate cuts are going to return us to and another factor and element that I thought of here uh, for 2024 and I don't know um, my mortgage folks uh, or anybody with some knowledge please uh, uh, in this particular sector please let me know um, is that the um, cancellation of some student loan debt um, I feel, now this is my own little personal prediction, may really uh, help pivot 
and give a boost to some of these buyers who have uh, gotten and received student loan debt. You figure student loan debt uh, can really throw off your debt to income ratio, uh, depending on how much you owe uh, to the mortgage company or to the, excuse me, the student loan company and so forth. So um, discharging that debt um, and if you don't really have any other debt, can really help push you up there um, and, and get your, um, whether it's your score or like I said, more so your debt to income ratio because hey, it's a debt that you no longer have to pay. So it's interesting to see how that's gonna play out, but I have a feeling that if that does happen, or that's happening now, excuse me, not that if it does happen, it is, um, that we may have some new buyers to the market uh, that maybe thought that they weren't going to be able to experience home ownership. So that'll be a beautiful thing to see um, if that comes to fruition and if that helps out uh, some of these buyers who were straddled with student loan debt. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have. Um, join me here next week. I will have one more video before we call 2023 quits and enter into our greatness of 2024. All right, guys. Well, have a blessed one. Take care.